It's just like it's like your first podcast. It's my first podcast ever. Is it, no, I mean like is this your first podcast in this room? No, 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 no. It's not. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Weirdos <laughs> at Home. Uh, you know me. My name is Sam Slade. I have a very special guest with me uh tonight in the Sam Cave. Uh, Devin Powell is here with me. Uh, very funny guy. He's the host of uh, of Big Black Eye Reviews. And uh, and if you're watching this uh, before Friday night, you can catch him at Silver Spoon Theater uh, on on the show of myself, Jack Neal, and Jason Johnson. It's going to be a fucking blast. We've been wanting to do this uh, for a while now. Life got in the fucking way as it does. And uh and boy, I'm so glad we're doing it now, dude. We uh I know been hanging out for a little bit tonight and fucking dude, you you have you have learned me. I've learned a lot. I didn't learn it yet. I have learned a lot. Uh, there's a lot going on. <laughs> but, I mean just the just the uh what what is the name of, of the guy that created the, the rocket? Oh Jack Parsons. Jack Parsons. I had no idea. Created the rocket. Was a fucking crazy sex maniac. Really? <laughs> and he literally was like, hey, what if we do this for real? Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah, that's a whole idea. They even did a, a show about him. I think it's available on like Netflix, Paramount Plus, whatever. Called uh, Strange Angel. And yeah, no, they they, they kind of got into, you know, they're, they're, there's a, a mystical element to it, you know, that may or may not be you know, fabricated. Okay. But yeah, might sex it up a little. Mm-hmm. You we can do say that. that. <laughs> you can say that. Uh, Oof. What a world. Uh, 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 question for you. You you, you do a, a review show on uh, YouTube. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, although lately my focus has been more heavily on Twitch streaming. Uh, okay, what, what, where can people find you on that? Uh, Big Black Guy Reviews. On Twitch. On Twitch. Yeah. I do, uh, you know, uh, I like just kind of watch shows, movies. So wait, so wait. You know, I, thought, I thought Twitch means somebody's watching you play video games. Yeah, I mean, that too. You know, I've got video games. Wait, so then what do you what do you do? You're, uh, well, you're doing commentary on movies? And yeah, you yeah like, like I'm, I'm just I'm just watching stuff. And, doing a commentary uh, track. And, and, and constantly interrupting it, you know. Whole, so whole I realize what I'm actually doing. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I didn't know you could do that. I thought it was fucking. No, no, no. Why am I not doing Twitch? I, 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 I was gonna, I was gonna suggest it at some point. I talk through every movie. Yeah, yeah, and especially when you're doing these uh these podcasts and stuff, you can just like live stream it straight to Twitch. That's mm-hmm. fucking. That's that's awesome. Yeah, I'm learning again something else I learned. <laughs> you also uh you you educated me that all but two presidents are related. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> so it was. Uh, fuck, I don't good know. luck disproving it, Mike. They're all from the British Isles. It was it was Dwight Eisenhower. Uh, he was. I think he was one of the ones that wasn't. Yeah, and, and then uh, Warren G. Harding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, like, sound, he just sounds like a bummer. Why? What broke me about it was I'm like even Obama, yeah. the, the only black one. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can we have anything, y'all? Can well, we? Just... I mean, his, uh, his wife's his wife is on paper genetically blacker than he is, being that he is a white mom. You know, I mean, you know, on the first lady. You know, wow, she ran. We would beat the aliens, make them our friends. He had fucking forever energy, flying cars. They're trying to get that Tony Stark arc energy, y'all. Dude. <laughs> they were trying to get that forever. Energy. Which, by the way, you you paid me the greatest compliment I've ever had by anybody saying, uh, you, sh- you should be playing a young Jeff Bridges. Yeah, like if you have a, throw, throw it out there in the ether. Uh, if, if there's ever a movie starring Jeff Bridges and they need some flashbacks to a younger, yeah, cut back live. I think, I think you said it because I had the whole... <laughs> you know, you got to... <laughs> but I have a thing going on. Well, you have to take the glasses off too, you know. You to... uh, come on. <laughs> yeah. See, there you go. Come there on, you go. Man. You get, get that dude vibe going, you know. You just come gotta... on, man. 
I don't know how, I don't know if there's any room. I would be interested in watching that, but would anybody be willing to or be stoked to watch a fucking young Lebowski? I mean, you would, but you're a fucking movie nerd. But, yeah, I mean, but I said that. I feel like if, if it was the co, yeah, as long as it's the Coens and it's a, you know good, good prequel, luck. you know, or just like a, 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 another random story in the dude's life. Too, can we at least do like there. eight episodes on a streamer? <laughs> like, or you know, maybe they'll mess it up and it'll be the Dumb and Dumber. Or, Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> it will be with me. <laughs> Don't get your upset. <laughs> Okay, well then, if the Coens aren't directing it, then who's directing it? Uh, whoever you can get on a streamer that wants to work with me, to be honest. I think, oh, yeah, I think you're Alan Schmidt. Okay. Alan Schmidt. It sounds to me like you, you're already an EP on this project. <laughs> this was your, you fucking cooked all of this up. More like the DP. Which you told me, easy. Family show. Uh, uh, yeah, that, that, yo, actually, that would work in like a series. Of Jeff Bridges' character, the and he tells the stories like Young yeah. Indiana Jones. Where yeah. He tells the stories at the opening. Yeah. That's we go. Like yeah. How I met your mother, but with ninjas. All right, man. You know, <laughs> yeah, we got a crew working on it around the clock. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> so uh, yeah. uh, you hung out. We had so much fucking fun. Yeah, it was a really great hang. Felt like I know you forever. Uh, it was really I have. We've known each other for a very yeah. long time. We don't get that. Yeah, yeah, we haven't really gotten that. Yeah, we spent a whole lot of time around it. We're like, I don't know, shit, we go back what? All the way back to like, what, 2009, 2010? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, kick butt coffee. Yeah. Kick butt <laughs> coffee mics. Yep. Yeah, yeah. That was before I. Yeah. Boy. <laughs> we, are, day. we are old. I broke you down about conspiracies earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I think we were about, I think we we're about two for three when it comes to Kennedy, 9 11, and aliens. And what I found fascinating was uh, the only reason that you're not the kind of ginned up about aliens, you're like, I've been burned too many times. I mean, I guess. Yes. You're like, I've heard this before. <laughs> and, um, I don't know, dude. I mean, Think about it, like just really think about it between like what deep fake te technology, drone technology, holographic technology, EGI. CGI, you know, robotics, you know, makeup and everything. Oh. Like, like, dude, would it really be that big of a stretch? Like, if, like, let's just say, if I'm not even really sure, this is just more of like a loose speculation. Let's say yeah. if the government wanted to stage an alien invasion, so that's fascinating to me. You know, it's like I was like, we we have the tools to do it. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, so remember that Super Bowl when Lady Gaga had that performance and all those drums came up in the house. Oh, so we saw Super Bowl, oh, so and they do it in the Chinese fucking sports like every fucking week. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, but then you get stuff like Trump getting indicted again, which is so fun. It makes you go like so tribal and so caveman and be like, get him. But uh, uh, I don't think the aliens are wasting their time with them. They go like the white trash neighborhood they fucking drive through. Yeah. Roll up the windows and fucking. Like, like in, in, any, I feel like any species from another planet looking here, it's just like, nah, yeah, let's just wait till they finish themselves off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then we'll go to If anybody's left, yeah, we'll fucking know. talk to them. Yeah, see if they're reasonable. But like, here's the thing is, I don't want it to happen now because. I think Joe Biden is older than sci-fi movies. I do, Joe Biden. Like I don't, I don't think Joe Biden is in any place ready to. Do, hey, man, little green men, no yeah. malarkey. They're here, man. They're taller than we thought. I have no idea what's going on, with Joe Biden. It gets to a point yeah. where I have to wonder if it's even still him anymore, bro. <laughs> like, no, I mean for real though, he was always such a robust kind of like. Yeah. Seemed like he'd fucking fight, like even when he was Obama's VP. I do. I remember there was a, a, a I even like cobbled together, to, like, because I was making the joke of, like, uh, who the hell is this? Because it was a picture of Joe Biden from November 2022, right? And, you know, not that all, long ago. Like, like, you know, not that long ago, but, you know, he's all, 100. you know, yeah, he looked Danny a Crypt Keeper, right? Yeah. And then, uh, what was that? Uh, just a few months ago, whenever he was making that. Uh, uh, that news appearance talking about, you know, uh, finally passing the gay marriage bill and everything. Yeah. 
And I'm just looking, and I'm like, did they deep fake him or something? Like, he looks... Stem cells, dog. Um, stem cells. I guess. <laughs> like, you know, he knows he's people, swimming in that pool. The word is, he looked almost 20 years younger. I mean... Uh, it was about 85. You know, it sucks, because I think if he had run against Trump the first time, I think he would have won. You know, but uh, his son died. Mm-hmm. Of cancer and the the tragic part of that to me, like in the movie mind, is that he was the head of Obama's biggest cancer moonshot funding. Yeah, no, it just wasn't the right sound. No, the world well, I mean, didn't see how gonna, crazy things would get to, real to, quick first. <laughs> and, and realize what you had, you know, the stability that you had. Yeah, it seems. I mean, not once did Obama ever tweet anything or be like, "You see what Obama tweeted." Unless it was like I'm opening for a Gaga at fucking at the Superdome next week. Probably. Yeah. But I'm I'm stoked. Uh I'm stoked Trump is getting uh indicted. I'm stoked that we're not gonna have disclosure while Joe's in office. And I hope the aliens don't try to break Trump out of prison. Yeah. I would hope not to. <laughs> That'd be weird, right? That they dance yeah. out. Yeah, I mean, especially the idea that aliens would travel billions of light years to our to, planet to fuck with just, uh, one break, losers. Break Trump out of prison. <laughs> one, one losers legal situation that he brought on himself. Go rob some space banks. But they're on the way to save me. They're coming. Here they come. I'm the mastermind. I'm um, the brains of the operation. I have to tell you, I got the best ideas. I don't know. If you, I don't know if you remember the, the keyboard riff in in Close Encounters. I played that riff. Da, 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 da. We usually do a set the other show, but five five movies that had a fucking amazing effect on your life. And I bring it up with you because you know your shit. Hmm. Five movies that have had an amazing effect on my life. Okay. It doesn't have to be amazing, maybe tremendous. Five mind blowing films. They don't have to be mind blowing, they could just be huge. Five of the most ultimate films ever put to cinematic. Devin Powell wants to say ultimate films, I just say movies. The greatest films ever known. <laughs> the greatest thing that was ever put on cellulose. I made them all. God, yeah. nobody even uses film anymore, do they? No, no. no. They started, like, they started it, using digital around 2000. Yeah, the, 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 the turn of the century. And Tarantino and Nolan are fucking pricks for wanting to, to use it to make a fucking movie. Yeah, I mean, it, it just depends on what aesthetic you're going Okay, for. look. All right. Well, I decided to have Devin Power, Okay. I never want like an old school aesthetic, all right? If I week two or two. And then I'd be like, no, dude, I want the aesthetic. Like, why would I was like, well, you just use digital. Style life, bro. You haven't used this digital. Give me that film grain, someone. <laughs> in words, in words, in words. You said this is a Tarantino film, right? It's no, in words, in words. Oh, yeah. Did you listen to the dialogue? <laughs> just kept waiting for sure. The dialogue. Show up on Django. News! <laughs> and like, <laughs> God, I can't believe you. I mean, he was a, we talked about earlier, he was in Con Air. Yeah. He was a catalyst. I mean, that yeah. doesn't happen without he, he, he like the, the plot really couldn't have kicked off if it wasn't for Chappelle's character. Now, you said Southern Lawyer earlier. I'm going to have to break it down on you, right? I'm Mr. Powell, we did, in fact, ask you five films. <laughs> you seem to be scouting the question. Oh, well, I thought you changed the thing. Anyway. All right, I so. did. <laughs> Look at this old, with, oh, this well, old fat nah, Max Luger not on fentanyl yeah, body. Let's, let's go ahead and give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. All right. All right. I know it's so, positive. Five, five, five of the most or the mind shirt. blowing ball busting. Oh my <laughs> god, it's fucking dude. Hyper Uber, super extreme, fantastic. All right. So all your parents tell them you hate them. That's how good these movies were. <laughs> No, nah, all right, all right. So I guess growing up, uh, films that really had a major effect on me. Uh, well, let's just go ahead and get the Matrix out of the way. You know? Okay. Uh, Did you let me ask you this? Did you get the Matrix first time you watched it? Because we're the same age. I got it enough. Pew, pew, pew. Dodge, oh, okay. dodge, dodge. Okay. 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 
black man you with philosophy. Get, but you did get the <laughs> philosophical Negroes. I feel like you're a fucking Morpheus. Man. Like, I'm trying to be funny. Magical now. Negroes, but hmm. all other things. Uh, but I, I didn't get the fucking story until years later. Yeah, no. Simulation. Yeah, Devin Powell, are we in a simulation? Yes, but not the one you think. <laughs> Most more people say you can ask. Okay, the Matrix. Yeah, all right. So, Matrix, uh, I'm going to say Evil Dead 2. Out of, oh, Bruce uh, Campbell? I mean, well, yeah, Bruce Campbell. Yeah. Course, you know? um, oh, yeah, that's right. Because there's a new Evil Dead 2 out of yeah, the whole. Even though it's technically more of a spin off than an actual season. Anyway. Um, I wore the wrong shirt. Haven't seen it yet. Heard good things. <laughs> like, uh, it, it, in a different headspace in my life right now, and not worry about that. But at the time, uh, growing up, yeah, Red, Evil Dead Two, like the whole series, really. But of the three original in the original trilogy, the second one. But is that the, is that the medieval times one? No, no, that's the third one. Yeah, okay. Army of Dark Eyes. Okay. Yeah, the second one is where they ended with him going to the past. Okay. Yeah, that was the first time he put the chainsaw. On talk about a guy who should have been fucking. We, we're saying somebody, we're saying Will Sasso should have been bigger. Yeah. Bruce yeah. Campbell. Hey, Good yeah. fucking Lord. You would think. I'm not, I don't, I don't I met him. Uh, I met him Kale with Jay like when I was real new. Dude, 6'9. Looks like a Mecca Elvis. 6'8, maybe? Bruce he's fucking, yeah, he's fucking huge. Like, I know he's in the sixes. But... He's taller than you, dude. And really? what, are you, what are you doing? You, you're rocking 6'4, 6'6? 6'6. Hold on. 6'6. To the Google Nets, we gotta we gotta solve this. When we get to the bottom of those, Buster Brown is B. Kind of wore the wrong shirt. Look at this. Look at this. Is playing. <laughs> uh, so bad. I, I, thought, I, literally... I thought that was your man cave shirt. You know, I thought you were trying to fit the aesthetic. No, I was trying to wear a play colored shirt so it worked well. <laughs> and now oh, I literally... you could have said something. That ain't it. And now I, I literally like. I'm so glad you dropped it off tonight. Drew Campbell, are you? Six, six one. Six one? It's six one. God damn it. What does he wear? Cowboy boots? When I met him, I was like, you're a fucking god. Well, how long ago was this? I mean, I was the same height, but it was <laughs> 05. 05? Oh, you have been like slightly shorter, maybe. I mean, you're you're very you're a fucking tall dude. Yeah. Uh did you ever play basketball growing up? No, too many people ask. I got sick of it. I'm like, no, I golf. I'm not. Y'all want me up here. I'm down here. Screw you. Tell me some of your expectations. I can tell you something. Look around this room. There's a lot of basketball going on. There's a whole wall over here. <laughs> and I'm so fucking mad. Now, with your height, you never play basketball. Uh, well, I mean, I guess if we find the right people, we can all here's the, you know, here's, No, here's what's going to happen. You know, pull will get out. And, you know, I will train you to get to the league. Let me show you something right here. I have somewhere in here. I have my. 1998 basketball camp. I'll paraphrase. Okay. If it wasn't for his height, his bad habits outside of school, the dude may be the greatest point guard in history. Now, if you allow me to teach you, there will be a much better white man can't try to fuck fuck it. I can't bring myself to watch it. Dude. You're not even a basketball guy, so I, I, I don't know. Basketball. I don't know, man. Just never really. I just can't believe, like, like have never you, really here, here's what I'm asking. Have you, have you ever tried to dunk a basketball? I mean, I, like, don't get me wrong. I like playing, you know, ball with the friends kind of for fun and stuff, but as far as like a whole professional slash right. competitive You're side right. of like, this going to work out for scouts and teams. Yeah, I'm just you know, that's next level. We'll get there. You'll earn my trust before we get there. Well I'm just also not a very competitive person by nature. No, so, I knew it was Ricky Williams. <laughs> like, like I show I'm up at the game and I'm getting, everybody's like, oh my god, what's the point of this game? And I'm the one that's just like, hey, well, we all have fun. Right now. I bet what would motivate you would be like 80 million bucks up front. <laughs> Have you? Here's my uh, here, 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 here's my, here's the favorite one I keep hearing. Man, all you gotta do is stand in front of the net and just do that, it. That, no, no, that, no, 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 step up. You know, ironically, what you just knocked down an ESPN hat, guys. 
I know he looked fat and schlubby, but I'm telling you, this guy's the future. <laughs> Greatest fucking Rudy ever. Man, I'm I'll rock this shit for the rest of the show. No, but for, before we move on, have you ever tried to dunk a basketball? I mean, like I said, playing with friends and stuff. It's like, yeah, sure, why not? So have you? I've dunked. It's been so long. I barely, I barely even. I, I really do you have a memory of dunking? I do not. Care. As a five nine dude, I do not, not recall ever dunking. Mainly because I never tried. There it is. Okay, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Okay, maybe you were telling me someone very fascinating. What did I about? I just know uh, we're a really good time. Uh, to write, that's all that matters. Oh, yeah, Jesus, yeah, it's a good time. Hey, it's hanging with the bro. Um, director James again just took over DC. Yep. So he's gonna do. Was he involved in the Flash at all? Do you know? No, no. It was I mean, like, like that, that, that was, uh, yeah, that, like they were already well into production. Because remember, like they even had to they postpone it when the Ezra Miller drama started happening. Like oh, they, 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 were, they were gonna release it like last year, I believe. But then you got like, all kinds of drama. Yeah, and then that turned into a whole spiel. And that's why as far as far as I know, I don't think uh James Gunn really had anything he was, to do with it. Maybe he, maybe like a producer credit. Well, and he was also doing Peacemaker, which yeah. is DC. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that one that was the one that gave me the false hope that maybe, just maybe, he would continue on the Snyder verse, but like his style, you know, like yeah, like yeah. like because like, well he may because more than anything, I really love, you know, like like it felt like it was. I felt like okay. There's a lot of things here I really like that I feel are decent enough jumping off point. You might have screwed up some storylines, whatever. All right, but there's still a lot here we can work with. Really digging the aesthetic, especially the dance the, the roles. Does, you like, know, they get the actors and everything. Love the look. You know, Zach. Like I've just always been a fan of his visual style. Me personally, whatever. Uh, a lot of a lot of uh, detractors out there, but it is what it is. But with James, uh, when he came in with Suicide, first The Suicide Squad, and then the Peacemaker, yeah. yeah, it's like, you know, it's like, oh, snap, well, he might actually try to, you know, keep this thing going, like, you know, right. but like, you know, but hey, That's now fun. we have somebody a little more story confident who can take it in a better direction. More fun. You know, right. like, like that's what I was hoping. They could just expand on what was already laid down instead of just, never mind, reboot the whole thing. Cause, well, do we know, like, is that for sure what's happening? Yeah, so? no, no. James Gunn is doing his own thing. Like I, I can, I don't know. Um, with these studios, the studio interference, and everything, so they, 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 they've been against the Snyder Cut from the beginning. Like yeah. if you've been keeping up with, like they didn't, they didn't want to release it. But luckily, the fans were vocal enough. And HBO showed up enough. money. And... Yeah, they finally just said, "All right, fine." And then they regret doing that. So that's why when uh, they finished filming Bad Girl, they decided they didn't want to put that out. The they just that? deleted it. What, <laughs> what, what, like, deleted that what is, as, as a guy who keeps up with all the stuff, uh, uh, but, yeah, more than most, uh, what the fuck happened with Bad Girl? What the fuck? Uh, I've heard not a bad word about yeah, the actual yeah, process. Yeah, the product. But, but I, I think what happened was uh, some leaked footage got out, not of the actual film, but like behind the scenes kind of leaked footage. Like somebody was so put on the yeah, phone like, and some of it didn't look too impressive. The stunts they were doing at the time, but it's like it's one of the things where it's like no context, camera work, you know, like you gotta see the fucking product and everything. Might look a little goofy, but I was I mean, like, Robert Downey doesn't really wear that suit, guys. Yeah, yeah. and then uh, Brendan Fraser, he, you know, he came out after after all the whole dust it. settled on everything. He, yeah, he came out, spoke about it, and he was just like, yeah, it was it was, it was great. It was, it was a really good story. My character had a really great arc, and he was you know, like, yeah, he was he was Firefly. So you know, so that, like, I saw the footage of him in costume, setting off the flamethrower and everything. I would say it. That, I'm like just from the like again, and this is all cell phone, phone, it was a cell, cell phone, phone yeah. cell phone footage, you know, no so actual. So, they, 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 so they spent a hundred million dollars on this movie and just fuck it. Apparently, yeah, that's not that's not that uncommon in the industry. They do that all the time. There's like a plethora of never before seen fully completed movies. Really? Yeah, yeah. Like they'll 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 finish a movie, and then there's times when sometimes uh sometimes it'd be like you know the audience hated it, and they felt like there really wasn't anything else they could do. It's still like why? You know, it's like sometimes they kind of find like the, uh, financial situation where they have to go ahead and put it out and hope for the best. But yeah, usually if they don't have to, you know, it's like take the hit. Or otherwise, the hit, <laughs> the backlash might be bigger. Now, I don't know what the deal is. With that, though, though. So, many, so, so many good things. Right, and Keaton was in it, right? Uh, yeah, Keaton was in it. Keaton that on the ship. I thought I mean, that was a little. That was Brendan Fraser's Oscar year too. You know, the whale. Yeah, no, he was no. picking him, picking him right. Yeah, you know. Me, I mean, as a performer, how frustrated, how frustrated, how frustrated 
in Cena, man, baby. <laughs> How frustrated would you still be? Still waiting on a sequel, man. You know, Cena, so, man, yeah, too. Uh, Get the uh, weeds back. Everybody's still around, guys. You know what I'm saying? You know, so you can get Sam, Sam, Sam Wise, Gimli, get, 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 bring them all back. Bring them. Let's fucking do it. Uh, the week so. <laughs> Uh, I wrote okay. Sean Astin's brother on Love and Death, and he talked so much shit. I say it sweetly, Mac. He talked uh, very charming shit about his big brother, who was Rudy. Where like a lot of people that's wanted to, a mm-hmm. lot of people, yeah, and I get it. And a lot of people wanted to come up and like only talk to him about his brother. Also, like a big budget HBO show that's dude. got a way on you, and, dude. Mm-hmm. I'd watch him be as classy as possible. Oh yeah, I'll call him. I'll tell him. Yeah, like I mean, like. Imagine Charlie Murphy, you know, like he's been trying yeah. to make it in the industry and everybody's oh, constantly sure. trying. Like, imagine how many people used him just to get the Eddie and like having to have that on your heart, <laughs> you know, with every new relationship you and, try to start after that. It's just, you know. And that's so it, what's it, what's kind of so refreshing about the what about Emilio and Charlie. Charlie had a way bigger career than Emilio, but at this point, you're like anti vaxxer, AIDS, smoke crack, anti vaxxer. You know, you're like, yeah, where's it? It's still up for a crack. More crack in Hollywood. No. You know, you'd be surprised. Uh, one thing I wanted to ask you as a performer, if you were in one of these movies in a feature role and they and they can it, and you thought you fucking owned it and owned your spot and your role, and your character and your scenes and fucking, just, I mean, so many people would be fine with like, hey, I got paid. What would your responses perform? Would, they, would you be fucking pissed that nobody got to Oh, bro, I'd be like Kanye and calling you. No, I'm waiting for this film. Yeah. I'm waiting for this film. I mean, yeah. Well, nah, exactly. But if you like, know, okay. I guess. Then, like, especially if it's like, man, I really feel like I, I really I'm fucking crushing it my all. And it's like, you know, <laughs> like. It, 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 I can't imagine how frustrated that thing. Honestly, like, I, I I probably just feel some type of way about it for a minute, and then eventually just... The man, next offer shows up. Life's too short. <laughs> like, like, it is what it is. You're 6'6", six, six, you There's can die, else. the next call's coming. Yeah, you know, something, something else will come up. Anybody, uh, if anyone, if anyone, <laughs> if anyone sees this man dunk anywhere at all, feel free to DM me, email me, samsidelive.com. I need... I, I just just let me know. I'm getting to the bottom of this. Sam, get the notification. Opens it up. I'll see some blurry, some blurry Cloverfield video. It's not. It's like a Tim Duncan dunk too. It's not even a fucking. Oh, you're going one handed now. So he can dunk. Okay, this is our no. He knows what he's doing. Uh, but we're talking about James Gunn, and and I think you were making the point that I didn't even really realize. Uh, he got to start like in true B list shit. Yeah, yeah, trauma, trauma films, which uh, is you know the Toxic Avengers, Sergeant Kabuki Man. Is there a Swamp Thing, or am I just nah, 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 can, nah, uh, nah, nah, mix nah, it up with with Toxic Avenger? He might be mixing them up with Toxic Avenger. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if Lloyd was like somewhat involved in the set, but that was like Stan Winston makeup, which feels really weird to say because you know, he's a list, right? Yeah, like well, yeah, Stan Winston's man, like makeup design, yeah, kind of thing. yeah, like he's like, he, he he, like like when you see the first Swamp Thing movie, it might be a better movie, but for me visually, the second movie has the best costume design. The first one just looks like he's wearing just oh, okay. a kind of burnt up rubber it's suit, blue frigo, <laughs> yeah, you know, like yeah, like really, it's Stan. I mean, this must, this so really James, Stan. So James, so James May. He came up writing under, or was he working on those fucking movies? And then, uh, well, no, well, as far as uh, trauma goes, you know, he started, uh, like, I, I, I know he worked with Lloyd on a couple of films, but the main one of trauma that he's associated with is Tromeo and Juliet, which is trauma's Romeo and Juliet, obviously, sure, yeah. And uh, but he was the writer on that one, so he wrote the story for it, and that's actually one of trauma's like most popular. The base, like, the yeah, base like outside of the Toxic Avenger film, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. And so, uh, I guess at some point, you know, James wanted to branch off, and I, I, I don't know exactly the details of his career, but I just know sometime after Trauma, he ended up making a Slither. Have you heard of that one? I, I've heard of it, I don't know. It's it's a horror, yeah, it, 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 it's, it's a horror comedy and a slash romance story. And it stars Nathan Fillion, cool. uh, Elizabeth Banks, Michael Rooker, 
Uh, uh, we see a lot of those oh, guys. Yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, they, this was actually James and Rooker's first collaboration, and as you can see, yeah, yeah. like they 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 clearly. Oh, they all married Palmers. All married Palmers. Yeah. Okay. Love that. Dude. <laughs> How can you not? <laughs> but yeah, no. So he ends up uh he ends up doing Slither, which is a sci-fi horror, you know, uh, comedy about a small town being infested with little squiggly worm-like aliens. Okay. And uh like it, it's like go full, it goes so. full body horror and everything, you know, like woman gets in, infected with the with the worms and they basically turn her into a giant balloon like like almost like a uh, uh, Willy Wonka. Yeah. But like yeah, she looks like yeah basically you went full blueberry and then she burst into slugs like, oh like one God. of those wild type of movies. But it's like it was like you know, really cool. terror mad at me about bringing up a petrified fetus as she's doing the fuck there. Dude, no, James Gunn has a really twisted sense of humor and it can translate well uh for the Great most part, music you know? Oh, always, always, always. Yeah, like I got I haven't heard a single James Gunn project that had a crappy soundtrack in my opinion. Literally. But so he does uh Slither, you know, and it's like a big it's a big small hit, you know. And uh, got his foot in the door for him to do another film called Super, uh oh, starring oh. Rain Wilson and Ellen Ellen P- Elliot Page. Um, Thank you. Yeah, don't oh, fuck that up. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 not time nor the place. All right. Yeah, no, but it was a really great movie, and um, uh, it was about Rain Wilson's character. Uh, Liv Tyler's in it. She plays his wife, wow. and he's just like this loser of a guy who just so happened to luck into this really, you know, gorgeous wife and everything. He's, you know, loves her and all that, but he's kind of a boring dude. She, she eventually falls back into drugs, and then Kevin Bacon's dr- drug dealer character basically steals her away they can work and yeah and he has somewhat of a mental breakdown and then a revelation and he decides to become a superhero uh okay. so he dresses up and his red outfit calls himself the crimson bolt uh cool. very cool and he just runs around hitting people with a with a monkey range screaming shut up crime <laughs> like, oh, and he meets yeah. elliot page uh, uh page's character who's a comic book uh shop you know, worker and, you know, the character, okay. the character, she's, you know, like, uh, she figures out who he is and everything. She's like, I want to be your sidekick. And it's just really, like, she he weird, away. irreverent. He's he's like, yeah, but the thing is, she's crazier than he is. Like, he's trying to tone her down. <laughs> like, it, it's a, but it's a really fun, interesting movie about this guy. Oh. Just like, he's trying to basically build up his confidence to go get his wife back from this drug dealer. And that's big time drug dealer. Ray Wilson's a yeah. fucking amazing actor. Yeah, they, they, this movie, like, bro, he, his performance is probably a tears. Yeah. Oh, wow. Like, yeah. Yeah. I feel like I'm like about like maybe four bad days away from uh, being the Crimson Bolt. <laughs> yeah, man. But it, it was definitely one of those films that show that James Gunn really knows how to do a really, you know, that, that kind character of mix of, you know, comedy. You know, a little bit of action, and drama, but you know, but especially hits you in the feels when he wants. You know, like, oh, bro, yeah, no, it felt like a really powerful. Okay, so you said, you said, you said the Matrix. What was the now, second movie? Uh, that was Evil Dead Two. Evil Dead Two. Yeah. Okay, number three. Uh, number three. I'm gonna go with Guardians of the Galaxy. The first one. Yeah. Wow. If not, the, the first and second are such a close tie for me. Really? You personally. They're such yeah. different movies. Yeah, yeah. By by the time that the, by the time I finished volume two, I was like, This is my yeah. Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know about anybody else. This is my Star Wars. Like, man. Yeah. That's so cool. A lot of fun, a whole lot of random and madness and we're talking raccoons and trees and making it all make sense. <laughs> As a dude that, has, that had a challenging relationship with the, with his father, uh, two hit me a lot different than one. Oh yeah, one was like hanging out, meeting your new friends. Yeah, you know, fucking what do y'all like? Let's go, fucking do some cool stuff. And then two was like really getting to know those friends. And yeah, like, and, and what does that mean? Helping them through their shit. And who's and who's down? Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna watch that fucking Zoom stand up show. Yeah. You see that? Like, bro, if you weren't, like, I'm not saying everybody's gotta cry during the movie, like, but if you didn't but at least work. get choked up during a dude's too. funeral. But you know, what is silly, but do you, I think these movies are gonna age extremely well. Oh, yeah, no, because, like, even, 
despite like despite the silliness, there's still so much heart to it. Oh man, that you just cannot be denied. And, Three's, and you know, I know you haven't seen Three. Three's gonna break your heart. Man. So much of what people complain about with the MCU and like how they're like, oh, it's all jokes now and blah blah blah. That I feel like that's actually a, a symptom of the MCU trying to copy James's formula Stop. you yeah, know right? like word. yeah because like, before that they were a little bit more serious yeah, you yeah. Know? it was and, heavier yeah guardians came out had everybody laughing and crying and then, then Dude, Mark, I'm, Mark I'm, was like let's do that more and then the fucking just the ones in star lord man yeah, like full fucking lebowski go star lord star lord man come on man she really uh you know three's gonna break your heart mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. All right. Try to tell you what. Tell you what. Without too many spoil. Without spoilers. Without major spoil. You know. Without spoilers. Break it down for me. Oh, three. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Um. So glad you asked. Uh. Can I hit that weed? Uh. Uh. Oh. We doing that on camera? Yeah. No. We can do it. Yeah. We What am I talking about? We're literally in Colorado right now. We can do that. Here's what we do that here. Because uh, Delta 9 THC is legal in Texas. Yeah, yeah, and that's exactly what we said. But you know why? I, yeah, that was, yeah, of course it is. You know why? Is because that's if the stupid big. asshole Republicans at the state legislature were like, we'll outlaw everything but quote unquote real weed, which start a cottage industry of people bringing down everything but like, say, say you pour yourself. You've been free basic and you cover yourself with Kavasi Electro on fire, and then you get to the window and you don't go. Mm. That's Delta 9 THC, mm. as opposed to like Colorado weed or California weed that will jump out that window and run too long. Deep track, it's a deep track. Bucket. Was that um, like your shine for the battle after I compared? All I know is I definitely heard everything you just said. I don't think it's good. Maybe I wish you hadn't. Mm -hmm. All right. Guardians of the Galaxy Part 3. Um, very much opens. Everybody has a matching outfit now. Oh, yeah. It's very dope. We haven't done that yet. Uh, Rocky gets hurt. Rocket goes down. Okay, real quick. Is, is that the scene where like Star Lord's in the trailer? <laughs> yes, yes. That's yeah, early on. It also all day. Yeah, yeah. Right. And then so I had a feeling, James. You do. You do. <laughs> that was the end. Yeah. yeah. No, so he's on the table for quite a uh, quite a long time, and then we start reliving his memories that he's having on the yeah, whole life fashion before that. Mm -hmm. Or coma. Yeah, great. I mean, so blown me away. Like, wonderful. No, no, no. It's still like a really good plot device, man. It's great. It works, right? And when it's used well. So then, uh, uh, Star Lord, uh, Peter Quill gets upset and decides we're going to go find the guy that made. He hears uh, Rocket mumble the name of somebody. I can never remember the fucking guy's name. Uh, but they go track him down. And uh, and comes find out that they've been attacked. You see the the Guardians Christmas special. Yeah. I, I, so I, that I, whole area, that whole thing gets attacked and blown up. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's how, that's how Rocket gets gets hurt. So we go, hey, we're gonna go find this guy. Does it pick up right after the Christmas special? Or? Pretty much. I mean, like uh, within months, yeah. Okay. Uh, so. I messed up. Ah, man, you guys with the well, again, <laughs> Kevin Bacon, <laughs> Kevin Bacon. Uh, so it's basically them going on like a revenge mission to save and and binge Rocket. Yeah, yeah, from the high evolutionary, right? Hi there, that's yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. amazing performance on that guy. Yeah, uh, incredible. I, like, like I, I've heard some reviews and stuff. I try to stay away from because, like, like it, I don't always care about spoilers. To be fair, films. like, like six weeks ago, you told me you were gonna watch it. Yeah, yeah, and then you know, but I get, I get, I get the underwhelmingness. No, well, I'm, no, no, it's not even like underwhelming. No, like I, I've been. It's, 
Matter of fact, Guardians Slide. of the Galaxy 3 is probably one of the last uh, MCU films I've been really excited about to an extent for a minute. Like, I was all pumped for Ant-Man 3, and then I go see it, and I'm like... You like it? I like it. Maybe I need to watch it or something. Maybe, maybe I was... I don't know. I laughed and stuff. I don't know. It just, just for me, I guess, I guess for for the third movie, it felt like too large scale for Ant Man. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's just me. Like I, I, I enjoyed it when it was just more of a simple little kind of small scale right, heist right. film. You know, like the house in San Francisco is like you know we have gone from robbing banks. But once he gets back to here. robbing a bank, but what's he now protecting the multiverse? But once he gets back at the end. No one knows who did any of that. You know, at the end of spoilers, at the end of Ant-Man 3, nobody knows he did any of that. Yeah. So to him, it kind of drives him, he's kind of going crazy. Yeah, from a narrative standpoint, we get that. Right? Okay, so I don't but just, I don't know. Like, just like fun? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I just felt like it was too soon to go. What did you say about Quantum Realm? What did you say? They only got the Quantum Realm. I know. What it was. What? It was... The one thing you haven't mentioned it was King the Conqueror. But Jonathan Major started to do yeah, well, How did you like his no, performance? No, I don't like King. You know, yeah, why did go so high? Well, first of all, I do think it hit. Okay. Okay. It tickled in the back of the third oh, my I'm just trying to keep it. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. You know, it's sometimes like, you just get that feeling. That feeling. In the I don't like Jonathan Majors. I think he's going to run the yeah. deal. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a that's a whole other thing. But well, let's let's stick with the Ant-Man thing right now. Because <laughs> I mean, okay. Hey, and then, and Ezra, then, just for the record, guys, Ezra Miller did way crazier shit than anything. Jonathan Majors being accused of accused, and uh, apparently there was some evidence that came out that. May or may not have heard Daddy with okay, so, uh, okay, I okay. recall her even making a statement. Okay, right. I'm, not that, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. But, but that doesn't matter. Then. So, right, here's my question. The you accusation know. is all that's really good. It is. Actually, here's my question. Do they recast it? Or reminds me, make sure you watch Speed Racer. But what? I got to go back and fucking <laughs> learn my lessons from fucking Speed Racer. Emil Hirsch Speed Racer. No. I remember the whole thing. Right there, look at him staring at me. Right like there. Yeah. <laughs> But no, there was definitely no, some moments that had me like message in that movie. So about the way about what do you mean? No, about speed racer. Oh, so we're talking about yeah, speed uh, racer. Oh, well, I was the last thing about speed racer and getting back to Jonathan Majors. Um, Ezra did way worse shit. Yeah. Not that it's it's not a competition. It's not comparable. Everybody's gonna be held to the road. <laughs> So my question to you is: Do you recast or do you wait it out, or I mean, write them out? Oh well, uh, I would not be surprised because again, you know, this is a whole multiverse storyline. So I would by the end of this film. He shows like, back up in his timeline, and he's a whole different actor. <laughs> Sean David Washington, you know, like all of a sudden, what was that? Adam Brody suddenly so pulls off the mask. Oh, <laughs> in fucking blackface, all the. But no, I'm talking about the Flash. I was talking about Kane. What? No, but the, then we were talking about the Flash. So that was okay. Like, okay, time out. We're literally on two different timelines. Yeah, take that away from me. Put that down. Okay. Leave that. Down. With Jonathan Majors' situation. I usually need the conversation wrangler. Oh. No. <laughs> I <had> some- <laughs> Welcome no. to your new podcast. Yeah. <laughs> no, okay, so you were saying? I said, your name's Hey Zeus, right? No. My name is Hey Zeus, brother. Same one with Clay and, and Sam Jackson. Mm-hmm. Remember I said. No, you do you think Clay Bisbee and Sam Jackson? Am I secretly, if I'm blind? No, like, I, I, it, it's one of those things where I'm pretty sure you didn't say that, but to my ears, it sounded like you said Clayton Bigsby and Samuel Jackson. I'm just, like, uh, is he, is he cut that me out? out? I said John McClane. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah Die Hard. I don't know why I would say that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, I'm why pretty sure you didn't say that. <laughs> I'm like, Clayton Bigsby and what? Well, the, John McClane, okay. Is it, is it the... Yeah, too racist stuff on the wall. What is this making me seem racist? No, no, no. 
I, I thought you were saying. I thought, no, you were, no. I, I thought you were saying there was like a Dave Chappelle or Samuel L. Jackson project or something, and you're just like, cool, 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 I told you, cool, cool. I told you what I wanted to redo with you, and it was so offensive you didn't respond to me. I was like, the last Boy Scout. Bruce oh. Willis and Dave Wayne's. Oh, yeah. And you saw it, just like, nah, I'm not going to. No, 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 no. No, I'm not messing with that. We're not going to touch that. What time did you send that to me? I might have either still been driving or I might have just met up with my mom. It's and, all good. But either way. Uh, it's all good. No yeah. Last Boy Scout, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't rewatched the Last Boy Scout since like the early 2000s. So I, I vaguely recall it. I like that our movie. Nerddom uh, really compliments each other. There's shit we both love, but then there's shit that you're like, you've never seen Hardcore Harry? What the fuck? Man, Hardcore Harry was a pretty fun film. Mm-hmm. Like, 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 like Panic Attack, it, like, have joy, like, being like, what is this? Yeah, I don't know. It almost feels like it's you, like the way they filmed it. That first person, pretty it's impressive. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially for two million dollars, so like it feels like a big budget Hollywood film. Which I mean, uh, who has two million dollars you know, at the ready right now? So in a sense, it's a big budget film. Tom Hanks could write that check at a fucking shout out to a fundraiser he did that he was going to. The, the Bezos spends that money just to Dude. torture people who annoy him online. Take people's jobs and give them to robots. Not even dope AI ones. Just dumb all the all the track ones. Mm-hmm. Uh, you got like two more movies, bro, today. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So right now we got. Are you having fun on this podcast? Matrix, well? Evil Dead. Oh yeah, so far so good. Uh, so uh, Matrix, the Evil Dead, uh, 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 Guardians two, and let's see another one that, that's really. You know, especially just because it has one of those special places in my heart to the point where I even did a movie review about it. Load of Weapon One. Load of Weapon One. Just something about that comedy. <laughs> it just really does it for me. I love the balls of it. <laughs> like, like they were like, no, we're going to fucking do a lethal. I mean, uh, uh, it, it was a fucking. I guess National Lampoon didn't do Naked Gun, did they? Um, so this was nationally yeah. been trying to fucking yeah no that wasn't the, yeah no, that was uh, Zucker oh, yeah yeah Zucker the airplane guys Zucker brothers by <laughs> the <laughs> anyway um yeah no so Loaded Lo- Lo- Weapon One it was just Sam like, Jackson and Emilio Estevez yeah 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 like, again I, I did a whole uh, movie review episode on it and uh, apparently it started out as a movie version of a show called Sledgehammer that nobody's ever heard of. In the 70s or 60s? But it was like, like 80s. Out. It was like, like, like late 80s. But it was, uh, I guess it was... I guess after Police Squad was a hit, they wanted a similar type of show. So, so, yeah, so it, yeah, it was basically like a Dirty Harry parody called Sledgehammer. Um, so that was that's what the original movie was going to be, but then I guess they lost the rights to that, to that you know, uh, IP, so... They kind of bounced around ideas until they decided on let's just do a parody of buddy cop movies, you know. So, so then it's, yeah, and lethal weapon. Yeah, and that's when the lethal weapon eventually became the focal point. And you know, I just give them kudos for getting Samuel Jackson and Emilio Estevez. They're too, too perfect, <laughs> too perfect in that film. Emilio was funny, man. Oh yeah, no, he, he was hilarious. Like, and it's a shame you didn't get to see as much of him. It's crazy how hard, like. Uh, when you're a kid, you watch Body Docs, you're like, let's just put this team together and fucking win against odds. And then you grow up and it's a lawyer with a DWI that has to catch you team. You're like, oh, yeah, no, this is going to be a, this is a pill thing I've got to deal with. Yeah. Like the different perspective of mm-hmm. But one thing I, I appreciated about parodies like that uh, was when they didn't just try to completely rip off a specific movie storyline, but kind of did their own thing. Is what I felt like they were doing with the whole wilderness girl cookies and all that. <laughs> I'm just like, you know, taking like a general concept of cops trying to, you know, bust a drug business, but just the ridiculous idea of, yeah, but they're hiding it in Girl Scout cookies. And then Beverly Hills Troop had just come out, like, just jokes all over the place. Like, a, like no one's safe. 
Oh, have I seen Beverly Hills Troop? Was that Goldie Hawn? Yeah. No, oh, I, I thought it was. Who uh, apparently, back to Guardians, uh, Kurt uh, Russell. Kurt Russell was like a, like, twelve or thirteen, on a Disney lot and met her, and she was like almost ten years old. Oh, well, mm-hmm. and he just, uh, he just straight up was like, "Hey, I'm gonna marry you." Like your child. Give it time. And it was like, I don't know where you that current energy. And then stayed through the Disney system up to like through ABC sitcom or not sitcom, but like guest star of the week shit. You wanna marry the heart? You gotta put in some work. Oh, I'll hold that shit. Fuck yeah. Uh, you want tennis shoes. Part one, two, three, and five. Yeah, no, they only did one as far as what or what? The computer wore tennis shoes. It was one of Kurt Russell's first films. Oh, when he was a kid. Yeah. 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 Um, that, The World's Strongest Man. I can't remember. Like, don't don't ask me which he one. He did some hardcore, like, Disney shit. Oh, yeah. No, movies, he, he, didn't? he was a child Disney's, Disney's golden boy for a minute. He was yeah. JTT kind of. Yeah, yeah, basically, like he was, he was, yeah, he was everywhere, and they put him in all sorts of movies. But like yeah, really. I didn't even realize it until, like, you know, I was a little bit older, and I, I came across computer war tennis shoes, and then the world's strongest man, and then you know, like all like all this and go on this deep dive, that golden age of Disney live action films. Oh, and nobody argued with shit. <laughs> he just got the movie made. <laughs> like there was a fucking hey, I have an idea for this. What if we would get the fuck out of here? And it's funny because, like, with the computer war tennis shoes, it's one of those premises that just seemed not only ridiculous but impossible at the time. But apparently, nowadays we're it's we're doing it in there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's like they're trying at least. Like, Elon's really pushing that neural link. <laughs> he won't shut up. Would you? Would you get to neural? No. Absolutely not. <laughs> no, I've always. Uh, I'm not even like taking medications. Uh, messing with my brain. Uh, uh, fuck it. Surgery? Fuck. I had one surgery in my life that I actually went under. And it was like a, a throat scope. So like, like someone in my stomach. And how hard I fucking went down and like immediately woke up. I was on protocol. Scared the fuck out of me, dude. Those are real drugs. Yeah, the fentanyl craze, all that. Yeah. How do you control doing fentanyl? We're talking about someone fun for a second, but how the fuck? Are there people who would literally do it like, no, nah, you don't want to do that much fentanyl? <laughs> Apparently, like the tip of a pin drop can kill you. Yeah, it's like at walking. school. Oh, so that means if I do a lot, it'll last right. No, 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 no. It's a trap. Just stop, y'all, please. Please just stop. <laughs> What are we running from at that point? Like, people what, hearing that it'll kill you, and they're still doing it. <laughs> that shit right that, there. That that boggles my mind. That, that, that shit you know, right there. Why the aliens don't stop it? Mm-hmm. No, it's like no. They they, they seem like they want to just they hang down, out. let them do their thing. Back to James Gunn. Do you think he can do DC? Uh, I'm glad you uh, interjected. I was about to start singing Reading Rainbow. Uh, Reading Rainbow. Do I know Reading Rainbow? I said it's a good thing you changed the subject. I was about to start singing Reading Rainbow. I heard you, but I thought you asked me, do I know Reading Rainbow? Yeah, I I said I was going to start. I know Reading Rainbow. I know Reading Rainbow. (laughs) Throw the fort. You're familiar. Don't take my word for it. (laughs) You know, Kunta? Okay. Don't take my word for it. Hey, hey, read it yourself. (laughs) <laughs> Read yourself. Here's another list of books that you can find at your local library. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Hold on. I know we were trying to jump back to Guardians of the Galaxy 2 real quick, but wait, did I even give the fourth movie? No, you gave like a spiel about how much you love Kurt Russell. Like, and spiel. And you saw it. Yeah, you saw it Bill Goldberg. I showed you that video. Bill Goldberg. Well, you know, I was very dominant. <laughs> I was doing the speed. I was doing the whole thing. They're like, what? I was, you know, crossing over. 
Like, wait, the dude walk, walking down the hall? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I remember now. The fourth movie was Little Weapon 1. Sorry, go on. What is that? Little Weapon 1 with Emilio Estevez and Samuel L. Jackson. It was the Lethal Weapon parody. Loaded Weapon 1. Loaded Weapon 1. National Lampoon's Okay, Weapon and one. then 5. Coming in at number 5. All right, coming, coming in at number 5. Mm, drum roll, please. I am going to go with a very influential film in my life growing up. Bob Doe. Bio Doe. Bio Doe. Okay. I was like, Bob Dole, the movie? Have you not have you seen it? Is, is there a Bob Dole? No, movie? I wish there was though. <laughs> no, all right, all right, all right, all right. Fifth movie, fifth movie. Right. Um uh it's Clerks Two. Nice. Yeah. So fun. Yeah, yeah, a lot of fun, you know. It's truly the Empire Strikes Back of that franchise. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I really appreciated that moment at the end between Dante and Randall when they were locked up and just like that yeah. friendship bonding moment. That's yeah. a fucking great moment. You know, like that was a little bit, I was like, all right, and this movie's got some feels a little bit, you know? It was. It's some great, I love the musical numbers, the fucking, it's yeah. fun. Yeah, yeah, no, it was a really good time. The love it's story. Like, and for the people that, you know, the, the Clerks win stands, like, hey, more power to you. Like, I love that too. Like, I'm not taking away It is a that. big it's fucking just, difference, right? I, like, yeah, no, it's a huge, it's a huge difference. But like, I think we're too young to be those kind of Kevin Smith fans who are like, what? Mm -hmm. It's all color. Like, we're just stuck to you still with it. No, the black and white didn't bother me. Like, I love Clerks. And I know what I'm saying, but we were, we were college kids. Yeah, no. Nah, like, nah. when it's who it was meant for, to we're like, yeah, 48 takes, dude. I there. mean, you want to know what the uh, first, well, 37. <laughs> like, 37? I just turned 37 this year. But um, I'm 37, too. But the first Kevin Smith movie I I'm 37, saw. too. That's too many numbers. I'm 372. You're fucking famous? <laughs> Is this your special bus? Okay, so if I was immortal, this would be the greatest disguise. I'm going to be like, oh, the guy with the stupid cow shit on the wall. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't know about you, but the first uh, Kevin Smith film I ever saw was uh, Dogma. It's a great one. You know, I don't remember the first one I saw. I just remember being aware of it. Uh, I love Chasing Egg. Yeah, really good film. Yeah, that Hooper X opening was, gets me every time. <laughs> I was uh, also a big fan of when you met him at that meet and greet. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I mean, y'all hugged. Yeah, yeah. Just big, big old hug. Like, but he, that he, hug really just... shot so we through the fucking universe. I think I picked him up a little bit. I didn't want to Did scare him, but I was. Did just, you? Uh, I mean, you're fucking. You're. I mean, you sure the way. Yeah. Like if I'm gonna hug somebody, it might go get away. Right, but at the same time, you gotta be careful because some people have their traumas and not him. Yeah, no. 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 It's exposed. Very, very, very. He had a very good energy about him. You know. It's, Although that one lady that went in there, she took up so much what time. What are you talking about? What do you think she could possibly uh, it, it, it was basically just along the lines of, you know, how much uh, his films have meant to her over the years. You know, like, uh, I think she was telling us, you know, it, it was it was actually a really sad personal story and everything. Oh, shit. Yeah. Like, one of those things where it's like, you know, oh, you kind of want to let her finish, but at the same time, it's like, there's a really long line, lady. Well, and, you yeah. know, like, so, like, like, you know, like, you see, like, his... Uh, uh, the uh, the people that were with Kevin, you know, they were trying to like Look kind around, of move her yeah, along, and she was, out, like, she was just like holding her ground. Just no, I, I, I've been waiting all my life. Okay. I gotta say this, you know, it's one of those moments. Is there like, anything worse than somebody you know, holding their ground, telling a sad story? I don't know. I don't in a know. place they shouldn't be, just all you have to hear this. I mean, it's it's one of those things where you know, hey, but. For me, it's like I, I I had something I wanted to say. What it wasn't going to be? What, 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 what,
No, say it again. No, nah, no. Nah. That that's that. Look, I'm little that, bit fat. Whatever it was, I was gonna say that has got to be face to face. It's one. It's one of those things. I don't have a hockey jersey. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> All right. Yeah, here we go. The devils. Devils. Really loves the devils. Oh, uh, the what you're talking about? No, no, no. no oh. I'm not playing anything. No? I'm not playing anything. Are you sure? It's like no, I'm not. Little, little Johnny be good? No, I'm not playing anything. Yeah. yeah. I'm saying, is this gonna save my parents? <laughs> Maybe. 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 Hundred years ago, they might owe you the divorce if you play it wrong. Do you think Shazam deserves another movie? I didn't see the second one. No. Yeah, no, like, like it's kind of getting to a particular. You're fucking point burned out, aren't you? I think, I think so. I think what getting think there. There's, 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 there's at this point, there. Yeah, you're too much, much about like soon. But yet, I see you nonstop. I watched you watch the Expendables for trailer, and and if. There was a video of just your reaction with the audio out of it just on you. I mean, it would have looked like you were watching the fucking, I don't know, like the new big huge Avengers movie, how stoked you were. And I think the, I think the reason for that was, well, who expects 50 Cent? No, no, here, no, absolutely. But here's what I'm saying, is I think it's because you're so burned out on superheroes that this is like something silly fucking... It's filling a vacuum for superheroes when you're burned out on mm -hmm. 800 years of fucking storyline. Yeah, and real quick, Mr. Jackson, uh, that was not intended to be a slight against you. It's just, I mean, it's the Expendables 4, but wasn't expecting 50 Cent to show up. <laughs> We're happy Moving he did. On. We're happy he did. We're all very yeah. happy. It's happy. It's just more like, huh, I wonder how that's going to go. I can't believe they can't get Arnold back. Like, is he going to be like, you know, uh, have you, did you know about 50 Cent's video games? What? Uh, 50 Cent, he has two video games no. he put out. No, he doesn't. Yeah, one came out for the uh, the 360 PS3 generation, and then uh, and then another one came out on, like, the PS2 Xbox generation. What the fuck? If they were, yeah. hang on, hang on, man. Were they, who were the title at all, Get Rich or Die Trying? Anything uh, like that? Oh, uh, hold on. It was 50 Cent, uh, Thing. I can't remember the first game, but I think the second one was Blood and Stone. That one took place in Iraq. What? <laughs> it was, it was, yes, yes. There is a video game of G Unit laying Why? His Why is he there? Or whatever terrorist group it is out in Iraq trying to get to a hip hop show. <laughs> this is a real yeah, video. Can, can you get to a fucking concert? <laughs> no, for real? No. Google it. Fuck it. I, I, all that one? Dude, I will yeah, put that over there. Had been tuned in a hundred years. Uh, Google this. So, mm -hmm. I'll ask you this: How bummed out? I know you're. This started. We wanted to do like a, a maybe we'll do it this year, uh, like a Christmas time, like a four part or however many part Die Hard podcast commentary. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So well, we're going like, to talk about the Die Hard series. That was no, that was that. That was originally supposed to be the first podcast we were going to do, and then just you know, one thing after another, one thing after another, and then by the time we brought it up again, it was like, oh well, I, I don't know. We were going to talk about Die Hard because it was around Christmas time, yeah. You know, and I'm like, well, we should stick to that. Like, so let's save that for like later in the year. Yeah. But you know, so I mean, Christmas is part of some James Gunn stuff. Of, no, 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 no. But no, no, no. What I, I absolutely agree. What I was saying was. Uh, uh, I think we should do that this year. Yeah. And having talked about that and being big fans of that, uh, are you mind blown that they let Bruce Willis work as long as he did? Did you I, hear the story? Bro, the but, but, but by the time he got to Die Hard 5... Oh, you were already worried? No, no, no. By the time he yeah. got to Die Hard 5, it felt like even Bruce Willis was like, well, why am I still here? Like, I don't know. It seemed like his enthusiasm has been waning. You know, I, I think the last time you really seemed to care was somewhat in uh, Live Free or Die Hard, the, the fourth one. Oh, uh, with all uh, Justin. Yeah, Justin Long. It's all fun and get on the stand. Timothy Old Fawn, who's fun as fuck. And, yeah. Uh, would you be best friends with Timothy Old Fawn? 
I, I don't know. Like, I, I don't, you know, like, I, I'm All right. not the type who looks for enemies, but, or anything like that. I don't know if he and I would get along on a friendship level like that. I feel like maybe he and I would be, like, good acquaintances, associates, maybe. Just like, just like, like oh, it's a brand, too. Yeah, yeah. Like, like all set or whatever. Like, like I, mean, I don't really picture Tim- Timothy Oliphant just being like, hey, let me see what Devin's up to today, or vice versa. Yeah. Like, you know, just kind of, you know, hey, I like you and Hitman, you know? All right, just, sure. The, 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 the good one. Yeah, and you never know. Y'all may have that moment where y'all bump into each other. And, yeah, who knows? I mean, like, could be totally you know, wrong. Holy shit. Like, dude, how have we not been bros our entire life? What the fuck? fuck? Who knows? And then now you're now you're getting a Justified spinoff. You're starting to get a spinoff of Justified. Are they doing that? Are they doing Are the spinoff Justified? I think he's in his own spinoff right now where they moved it to like a big city. It's still justified? Like what was it like? It's like it's, it's called it's called like Was he not justified? I thought he was how is it a spin off? He was still following him. <laughs> he sat down. He thought about it. And what really came out of it, he didn't feel justified. And he's and he's wanting to feel more justified. So now it's in the big city and uh well, nothing's happening now, it's just a rider strike. Now, nobody's justified. <laughs> now we have to wait to be justified. <laughs> oh my God! Think about how justified he's going to want to be after it's fucking. Yeah, he's going to have long work. Oh, you can dude. testify. I'll, t- I'll, yeah. Do I need to go? Do I need to sign something? <laughs> you know, matter of fact, how has it been? You know, like you were working right. Like I don't know if you're allowed to talk about what. Projects you've been working on, whatever. It's not about everything on this side. You know? Yeah, I'm well. Smoking weed. Uh, okay. But, you know, as far as, uh, uh, like, well, okay, so what was the last thing you just you just got done filming before the strike hit? Um, it, it actually released right before the strike hit. It was called Love and Death. Love and Death. Yeah, that one. I, yeah, and I did security on a couple of those sets. Uh, it was an amazing production. I was only in the last, uh, last three out of seven episodes as a, a true like a real person named Bill Schultz, who's assistant DA. And uh, man, it's an amazing acting experience. Like it really, yeah, it was fucking dope. I mean, I guess, uh, uh, so I know I've seen pictures of your courtroom scene in the show, right? Like, like, are you mostly just in the courtroom? So over the course of three episodes, it's a sprawling murder trial. Mm-hmm. And I am only in, uh, in that big courtroom. Mm-hmm. And then I'm also in a uh, I'm in a smaller deposition courtroom uh, before we get to the big one. Yeah. Do you know which uh, episodes? Uh, you let the people know where to keep an eye out for you? I don't know. I mean, uh, anybody who has ever watched this uh, knows that I'm in the live stream. So it's uh, 567. Okay. Okay. Nice, nice. Part of the worst legal team in history. Uh, do you know the story? No, not at all. You don't? Not really. Like, I, I kind of skimmed it, you know. But oh, was, uh, good. Uh, something about a husband and wife. Wife goes and killed her husband. And... No, no, uh, no, 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 no. That wasn't. Okay, well, then, yeah. Like I said, I didn't I didn't really look that deep into it. Not you. There uh, were. Uh, if it wasn't a podcast, I'd, I'd explain it as Pacino right now. It's not Russia. Oh, true story. Yeah. yeah. Such a true story. Shouldn't have worn this shirt. Here we go. No, so uh, 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 there's two couples in Dallas, uh, in Garland. Two it, couples in Dallas. Oh, that's fucking great. Oh, man. I've been mm-hmm. sleeping on that one. Oh, uh, my was okay. <laughs> that was fucking done. That, that was uh, up there with uh, great bears. So, so, so there's two couples, and uh, and a, a lady tells the other husband, "Hey, do you want to have an affair?" They they start having an affair at the hotels, and uh, it's not great, and nobody's really into it. That goes on for like a year, and then uh, well, HBO obviously spends like three or four episodes making it like 
as hard as he can be without people liking it, right? Like, yeah, he the numbers on Brian, like, he's barely shit. So, anyways, like a year later, she, uh, she's taken the man that she had the affair with, uh, stayed friends with the couple, and she's in, going to take the uh, kids, like, swimsuits to swim meet or something or swim lessons. And the wife of the other guy, or of the guy, picks up an axe and uh, tries to come at her, and she's like, it's over. Like, we're not, like, it ended a year ago. And, uh... And I know it is, it seems to... It gets a little crazy, but then the problem is, is that the Elizabeth Olsen character that had the affair hits a lady, true story, 41 times with an axe in a laundry room. Do you think it was an accident? Not if it was. She fucking won't deserve it. Yeah, that would explain it. Like she went fucking I thought it excessive. Well, here's here's the crazy thing. Due to the fact that we were the worst legal team in history, or the team I portrayed, a part of portrayed, uh, she got off through fucking self-defense. Chopped this bitch up 41 times. I mean, you know, sometimes people just don't want to stay down, you know? Apparently she was full of piss and vinegar, you know? Just, they don't build them like they used to. They, you know, It's such a crazy story. She, Bunch of snowflakes around here. No, it's not. <laughs> people don't build them like they used to. No, no. Only one Oh, yeah. Only one, yeah. Uh, uh, but what was crazy is that the lady gets off for self defense after mutilating this lady. Like, mutilate the fuck out of her. I mean, like chopping broccoli stuff, potato carby. Well, you know, maybe the least bit of character was angry. And uh, mental illness, you know, it's, it's, it's a real thing. Well, she got away before any of that happened. And, uh, she moved away to Georgia, became a kid's therapist. Changed her name. I figured that would help. How does Jesse Plumman's killers work? I guess that's my question. Um, apparently he's a really good actor. He looks like if somebody like made a, a face mold of you and me. And then hear me out. Lay them on top of each other and then hit it with a fucking like meat powder and then microwaved it and then put it on with the ball wig. They're like, yeah, that's Jesse Plemons. I don't know. I just figured Jesse Plemons looks like an American most wanted mugshot. Just because <laughs> I just mean, yeah, I, I just I think American most water would have lost her shit when old so this man kidnapped a whole bus. Uh we watch all the dateline around here. I just think it's always fascinating the shit people get away with. Do you watch Dateline? No. You don't? No, no, not not much. I've seen Dateline. I'm sure, I'm really aware of Dateline. Yeah, yeah, especially. So like I'm aware of. You know, when I realized it wasn't a dating reality show, I just moved on. Right, sure. Yeah, sure. Do you watch dating reality shows? No. Oh, we do. But, you know, so I, I was just extra disappointed for some reason. Do you watch any true crime stuff? Hmm. I've played true crime. Well, L.A. and New York. Fun games. <laughs> so, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Yeah, here's and, the thing uh, that Kurt Russell was all up on culty shit. Uh, no, yeah. I think we, we pushed it. It went hard. Uh, I think anybody who has gotten this far watching this podcast fucking yeah. deserves this shit. Oh, and yeah. They, no, they, no. Give yourself no, a I mean, they've earned high five they've and a gold star it. on my behalf. I've made Dude, so, you're the real MVP I mean, right now. 
Because, yeah, we've been jumbling, jumping and jumbling around. So it's yeah. probably like trying to watch Memento. If you're out of order. <laughs> we're watching it out of order. <laughs> it's like it's already backwards. Now we're watching it out of order. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. No, for real, I'm doing like fat brand to only pants over here. <laughs> oh, uh, I want to make my mouth really pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. My boy. My boy. You know? No, that's fucking, that's an awesome brand. Of, I think the only thing I have on you is my fat brand of tits that are going on in this shirt right now. Yeah, so, you know. And this guy, and also I think the chair maybe. Yeah, you know, like, like I, 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 maybe we can do like a puppeteering kind of thing, or like a ventriloquist thing, okay, or like off yeah, yeah. camera, and then I'm just like, yeah. yeah. Well, you come to me on this the day of my daughter's wedding with such a request, the disrespect. The this disrespect. is now. This is why we need the cats coming here. But also, all should know that most mornings that I'm in here, like working on anything at all. Uh, Coco, fat, not confident orange cat. Mm -hmm. Uh, either stand sits right here or sits in the lap. Oh, yeah, yeah, Coco. I don't know where the back of what's happening to the wrong. It's like how fat I am. I'm like old fat, but I'm about to break out of this show too. It's not that bad stuff. <laughs> I can't believe Bill Goldberg's here. If Marlon Brando was Darth Vader. I'm uh, getting hungry. Somebody bring me a kid. Yeah, uh, I can't believe it. It was made by words. They're a value must be stocks. Have you ever seen the god thumb? Father. Have I seen the god thumb? The god thumb. Oh, yeah. No, the, the parody of the Godfather. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Yeah, okay. So, which of the thumb movies have you seen? Uh, you know, I haven't ripped that band aid off. Really. I haven't seen a lot of thumb movies. Have you seen the thumb wars? I've seen clips of all this stuff. Yeah, okay. It's crazy. I mean, what you're literally talking about. Is a fucking movie executed all people's thumb with thumb. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's here, thumb, I guess thumb here's, here's why I'm saying this why I'm saying I got a shooting so I'm like, it's a fucking thumb movie. Yeah. Don't you're talking to me like I missed the fucking Oh, no, dude. Like, you have no idea. Fucking, oh, like, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. You, you need you you don't even know. But like, you don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> They're actually coming out with a new one too. Mm -hmm. a, a Thumb Wars sequel, uh, based on the. Uh, I, I need mm -hmm. to. Uh, Are you monetarily profiting from it? I absolutely. You know, I'm making mad bank, yo. Know, just, just for real. Bank. You're a producer of this. Oh, oh, well, yeah, low key, but it's so, so low key. I'm not even on the roster. So is it John Peters of this? Oh, oh, yeah, no, you know, we got to keep it straight. But we, we, that, that's what it is. Did you yeah. tell them, were you like, no, no spider or yeah, all yeah. spiders? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, I said, you know, low, low thumb walker, you got to fight a giant spider in the third act. I don't want to see him flying. I don't want to see him wearing any tight suit. You know, just said you know, fucking no yeah. suit for the thumb, right? <laughs> that reference is for like the small handful of the world that would actually know what I'm talking about. Man, McAfee is just all up in you. Fuck it, it's all over me, man. You know, like I told you, I skip all the tech, and that's what I get. Like that crazy exit that won't leave you alone, bro. Uh, I'm lucky I don't have that problem. Me too. Because when I have an ex, I'm like, we fucking. Unless she's really playing the long game. I promise you, my ex is not. Uh, have I ever told you that story? About your ex not playing the long game? Uh, we got engaged and she started having sex with old old men for money. Look, I hit the thing. That's literally the last thing you're supposed to be thinking about doing. I mean, anyway, but hey, yeah, that's what I mean. I mean, you would think. But that's what I thought. That, 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 that. 
So uh, uh, her parents pay for like a crazy huge wedding at, at downtown Austin. But her parents paid them, right? Of course. Okay. 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 Her parent, good, my good, parents good, were good. like, we're not going to tell them until he, it blows up that this was bad. At least the service was no, nice. No, uh, it wasn't. Uh, but they were cool enough to be I mean, there was at least KFC, right? No, the food was fucking great. Okay. I mean, these, these Houston Republicans fucking... Made it tremendous. Uh, uh, and six weeks in, she dis- legit takes off, disappears. Hmm. And uh, that was that. I was sorry again. Where? Found out eight months later she had had a kid. With the old guys to help them. Found that out, showed up to a, a, a club to a spot, 20 minutes long, like the whole story. Woke up the next morning, had a heart attack. And then I would see Speed Racer. That, that's I probably made a, why you didn't like the movie. No, I went to Speed. No, was that long? <laughs> like twenty five had a heart attack. Uh, if I watch Hardcore Henry, will you watch fucking King Row? Sure. Is that a deal? Yeah, yeah, that's right. You're trying to say Texas, Texas size, and you gotta get, gotta get that elbow all the way up. You know, like. <laughs> This has been Weirdos at Home. You know who I am. Uh, Stephen Bell. Oh, it wasn't wasn't that weird. Oh, this was this was so weird. Was that weird? Weird isn't sexy. (laughs) I did like a like a young (laughs) like a young Ernest Bornstein. (laughs) Uh, If you if you're watching this for Friday night, uh, Silver Spoon Theater, New Braunfels, he'll be there. I'll be there. Jack Neal, Jason Johnson, who knows what other special guest. It's all happening, people. It's all happening. Tuesday at three. It's all happening. Can't figure out how to work this. It's all happening now. <laughs> it's-